Welcome back to JK Survival Bushcraft. This is Justin. Today, this video is a special edition for Andrew T. Andrew, you have a nice set of kitchen knives, and you had some questions on how do you put an edge on those and keep them sharp. So today, we're going to discuss flat grind knives, which is what your kitchen knives happen to be. So if you look closely here, this is a, a rough diagram of the knife and a flat grind is basically from the spine to the final edge one angle on both sides of the knife now it may or may not have a secondary bevel and if you look down here you'll see what that looks like consistent grind or bevel from the top of the spine to the edge with a secondary bevel at the bottom uses for a flat grind kitchen or flat grind knife kitchen hunting and outdoor purposes allows a knife to pass through food easily crush food and chopping food not wood chopping food only okay this is a leather stropping board we sourced this hide specifically from a location in mexico due to its micro crystalline structure which makes it perfect for honing or leather stropping knives. There's two sides to these boards that we sell. One is a rough leather and one is a fine leather, basically a smoother level leather. What you'll do is you'll take your 15,000 grit. We also make a 30,000 grit diamond honing compound. You'll rub it in your hands, 30 seconds to a minute, get it warm, pop off the cap, and it's just a lipstick and it comes out like a lipstick. And then you coat your first initial coat. You'll coat very thoroughly over the entire piece of rough leather only, not the fine side, just the rough side. You'll coat that real good. This tube should last you a lifetime. There's there's quite a bit in there and you don't need that much once you get your initial heavy coat on and you're going to take your knife we've discussed the what a flat grind knife is and you're going to lay it flat on the leather strop completely flat and since this has a secondary bevel you're going to tilt it up until it catches on that bevel till it fills that bevel and you'll feel it lock your wrist which means keep this wrist in one one specific locked position with that bevel, that secondary bevel. Bring your knife back 10 times. Maintaining that edge on that secondary bevel. And you'll do this stroke 10 times. Now you don't have to apply a lot of pressure. It's just a nice, even, to that bevel stroke. Once you do it 10 times that way, you reverse it. Now we're gonna go away from us. We're gonna lay it flat. We're gonna bend it back to, pull it back to that secondary bevel. And then we're gonna do our 10 times this way. Once you do your 10, you're gonna do nine and nine, then eight and eight, then seven and seven, six and six, all the way down to one. And once we get to one, this is on the rough side. And once we get to one, we're going to go one and one. We're going to do that 10 times. And I'll explain how that works and why you do this. So as you're stropping this, what you're actually doing is along this edge, which you can't see because it's very, very small, you're actually rolling the metal away creating little spurs all along that. So when you do it 10 times, work your way down to nine one way, nine the other way, eight, eight, you're making those smaller and smaller burrs. When you get down to one, your pressure lightens up a little bit and you're making those super, super fine. After you've done that 10 to one and one 10 times on the rough side, you flip the board over and you apply no compound to the fine side the smooth side of the leather and you do the same process 10 for we're just showing you here we're not actually doing it and then 10 the opposite way nine and nine now remember once you find that secondary bevel 
Once you lay it flat, bring it up to the secondary bevel, lock your wrist in position so that you maintain that bevel. You never want to cut into the leather. You'll literally just destroy the, the strop. And we're going to do it 10 times, then nine times. Then we're going to go to one and one, which is finishing that edge. And you should end up with a knife that just, oops, just cuts paper like nobody's business. And that, Andrew, is how you hone a knife.